Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session the uh, 15th of May 2018. Please be sure to visit uh, CFTs.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that bonus. And be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading provider at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's see exactly what's going on here now then, uh, folks, in terms of the, uh, the actual equity markets and the way they're trading at present. Okay, so um, we have uh, Asian markets down overnight again on concerns regarding the US yield, uh, obviously exceeding that 3% potential mark. Again, concerns for uh, the uh, situation in terms of emerging markets. Asian markets down as well on the back of uh, concerns due to uh, weaker Chinese data as well. Also, the uh, talk, upcoming talks with regards to uh, the US and uh, and uh, China as well with regards to trade war concerns. Situation in the Middle East as well certainly seems to be getting out of control with regards to uh, Israel's massacre of innocent civilians on the border, uh, peacefully protesting. Again, uh, certainly seems like uh, state terrorism certainly is uh, is to blame there again from Israel. Uh, again, in terms of uh, the massacre of innocent individuals. Now, uh, again, the situa situation certainly has been exacerbated by the uh, the uh, illegal uh, transfer of uh, the American embassy in Israel. Really, it's nothing from the Arab world, the Muslim world. It doesn't really have any uh, real influence, really, other than the fact that, obviously, America certainly is trying to uh, basically, um, uh, what should we say, uh, giving Israel a justification, really, to massacre more innocent civilians. And either way, uh, it's, it's, it certainly is Gaza. certainly seems to be a concentration camp at the moment. It's like an open-air prison. And it just gives them more cannon fodder, really, from that perspective. Uh, so again, Mr. Trump's so-called uh, intolerance, uh, radical extremism, certainly seems to be uh, the mainstream, uh, and that certainly is destabilizing the world, but certainly not destabilizing equity markets. Equity markets seem to be loving it at present. Okay, with oil prices certainly moving higher. Again, historically, oil prices higher on the back of geopolitical concerns generally is considered to be negative. But that isn't the case at present. Okay, markets are absolutely loving it at present. So, uh, U.S. equity markets certainly surging, FTSE surging non-stop. FTSE back at seven seven twenty five again, even in yesterday's dip. So it looks like everybody wants to buy below seven seven hundred. So very very impressive move thus far. Okay, uh, again, uh, Shanghai down one point two three percent. Nikkei down zero point two percent in Shanghai. Oh, Hang Seng, should I say, down 1.2%. Shanghai uh, actually finished up 0.5% in the back of that weaker data. Okay, now in terms of the technical picture, uh, before I do that, quickly go through the European data as well. Uh, German GDP numbers came in weaker than expected, so again, risk off. Uh, Non-farm payrolls out of uh, France certainly came in weaker than expected as well. Uh, CPI data came in more or less in line. UK unemployment rate came in more or less in line. Average uh, uh, earnings, including bonus, came in line. Average earnings excluding bonus came in line as well. The claimant count, uh, higher than expected. Okay, so again, and then ZEW data out of Germany came in, uh, uh, economic sentiment came in weaker, but current situation came in slightly better. And then we were waiting for the inflation report hearings as well, just a kind of more clarification on that from the UK. In terms of European GDP, more or less bang in line. Industrial production came in weaker and uh, uh, from, from that perspective, but uh, uh, ZEW data for Eurozone came in slightly better than expected. So, again, make of that what you like. Certainly a mixed reading there. But again, Chinese data down, Asian markets down. Certainly looking for risk aversion, okay? Especially given the uh, talks with regards to China trade war. You've got the situation with Iran as well. And you've got the situation with Palestine. Okay, German DAX. Uh, daily chart, again, like I said, I've talked about that gap fill certainly holding thus far. That certainly seems to be the case. A weaker German GDP, therefore, one would expect the um, the market certainly to fall. Now, so far, we've been holding gap fill, okay? Now, looking for a lower low. That's basically what you'd be looking at here. Uh, 10 minute chart, you've got gap fill above. Haven't closed that gap as of yet. Certainly a, a negative uh, potential move thus far. Again, just making a lower low and then looking to potentially make a lower uh, lower high, looking to make a lower low. So German DAX certainly remains vulnerable from my perspective, given the fact that we double topped out at uh, 1330. And ever since then, we put in a double uh, lower high at 1310 and then a lower high at 12990. Uh, now looking to make another lower low. So watch out there. A lower high, should I say. OK, in terms of the French CAC, daily chart is into resistance, therefore looking for weakness. 60 minute chart here as well, double top, therefore looking for weakness on the French CAC. So watch out there in terms of the French CAC, looking for further weakness there. 10 minute chart will show you more or less the same, back into, into gap fill resistance on the daily chart. Okay, looking for weakness, you've got double top and gap fill. 
uh, two powerful arguments for the uh, a, a French CAC to move lower, especially adding the fact that you've got weaker German data as well. Okay, now in terms of the FTSE 100, now this index is uh, this uh, index certainly is very impressive. Uh, certainly, I've been attempting to short this index with almost 80-90% uh, failure rates of this last two or three weeks. I mean, it's just been non-stop. Look at the uh, the weekly chart first of all, foremost. I mean, when did you when have you last seen that move? Okay, very very impressive, especially after putting in a uh, potential lower low okay uh, and daily chart as well uh, very very impressive I mean every dip if there was one one two three bearish engulfing candles and that's it literally okay we are into that key resistance here at this uh, zone here around the uh, 7 7 30 certainly expecting that to hold 60 minute chart you got double top now okay certainly wasn't expecting double top was expecting a low high uh, that is the case at present you just have to respect it again looking for weakness here at a double top resistance back into that key zone uh, again you've got uh, 7728 7730 as resistance we hit a pivot low of 7687 uh, yesterday's close and look at the market certainly very very impressive I was expecting a H&S formation to play out but that certainly has failed okay so that's the status quo in terms of European markets please be sure to visit trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers goodbye now